The struggling Adams 14 district is a step closer to being under new management. The school signed its contract with MGT Consulting Group. However, the State Board of Education still has to give final approval. Adams 14 is the first district in our state to be forced to turn over control of its schools because of low test scores and performance. And as you know, education is always a hot topic, especially here in Denver, where not only is there a new superintendent, but there's an effort now to overhaul a lot of the school board during the next election. Well, Van Scholes is the president of A-plus Colorado and Action Tank or I guess a nonprofit really focused on evaluating and advocating for decisions, policies and approaches that impact student achievement in area schools. Thank you for being here right now. You're focused on Denver. So what is it that I, mean, I know you have six issues that that a plus is focused on. So what are those? Yeah, we thought it was really important given we've having had so much transition and, and we have school board elections coming up that we needed to level set and make sure that folks, the community understood what has happened in Denver Public Schools in terms of the facts, understand how achievement has changed over time, understand how the district has, what the district has done to improve low performing schools, what's worked, what hasn't worked, um, how school choice is working, um, and how all the different types of schools are performing relative to one another. And that has to be a, a huge task given that schools are so unique. So mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you have a large administration that can manage those individual schools? Right, I, I think that's one of the, that's one of the tough, tough questions for any large urban school district. Um, Denver is the largest in the state, nearly 100,000 students. It's a billion dollar system the largest employer in Denver. Um, it's a big, complicated system. And so how you do that sort of centrally and at the same time understanding that families and kids need different kinds of schools and programs um, is sometimes challenging. Yeah, and yeah. so, and, and Denver has a, a wide variety. It has district-run schools, it has innovation schools, it has charter schools. So how do you know what works then? Uh, I mean, this is, this is like moving a big ship, right? Right. How, what works yeah. in Denver? Yeah, so uh, we look at a variety of things. We look at how kids are doing in terms of achievement. So we look at test scores, whether or not kids are, are, read, are meeting reading benchmarks sure. for the state. We look at whether or not kids are graduating. How do they do when they graduate? so we can look at if they go to college and how well they're doing in college initially. So we can look at a number of those things. Unfortunately, we can't look at what happens to them when they move into the labor force because those systems don't talk to one another. So so we have a new superintendent. We know teachers just got a nice bump in pay. Yes. How does that impact the classroom? Will we see any impact come August, September when kids yeah, are back in class? I think it's Yeah, I think it's a little too early to tell. Um, the agreement... Um, I think was very positive in terms of raising teacher salaries, which we know is so important, particularly in Denver with housing costs so high. Um, and also there was also a, a part of that, that deal was that um, students would be get, or teachers would be given incentives to teach and harder to serve schools, so schools with um, more low-income kids and, and those classrooms that may be more challenging to get kids to grade level. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about parents because they hear all of this talk, they saw this the strike, they know there's right. a new superintendent, but they're saying, how can I make this a better classroom for my child? What should they be focused on? Right. I, I think the most important thing they can do is be in regular communication with their teachers and, and with the school leader. Um, we know that that makes a huge impact. Um, kids spend more time at home than they do in school. Mm -hmm. School makes a big difference, but what's happening at school or, or what's happening at home also makes a huge impact. So making sure that parents and the school are on the same page and that there's really honest conversations around how the kids are doing. What about um, charter schools and the mm -hmm. impact on, on DPS in general? And I know you talk about all school districts, but we're just talking about DPS right. today. And some people have said there's just too many charter schools. Right. Is that, do, you, do you dilute things when you have all those charter yeah, schools? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think that we know that, first of all, charter schools are public schools, as are innovation schools. Right. And so um, they abide by most of the same laws and rules and regs. Um, and we know that some of the charter schools in Denver are doing very well by their kids. In fact, some of the highest performing schools in the state Denver School of Science and Technology, University Prep, are all schools right. that are doing very well by their kids and families. And so, um, as there are also 
other Denver schools um, that are not charter schools, like Valdez Elementary, for instance, is doing a great job serving families. So with about 30 seconds left, as we look forward to this new school year mm -hmm. and lots of changes, what do you think will be the, the most obvious change? What right. do you think is coming? Right. I think that there's definitely a pivot towards having more community involvement, which we think is a good thing, um, rather than the district sort of pushing a set of reform or changes. So the district will be listening? I believe the district will be listening. Which makes perfect sense, right? Yes. I, I think that's what parents have been asking for. For a, a very, speak, you know, Speaking as a parent, I think that's what we all yeah, want, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very interesting. All right, Van Schools, president of 8 Plus Colorado, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for Appreciate having it. me. Back in a moment.